all right welcome back in this session i'm gonna go over the fixed versus floating section or feature in the assembly mode now we went through this a little bit in our last session by saying the first part that you place into the solidworks assembly is going to be your fixed part a fixed part is defined by the f on the left side of the part name so when you see an f right there that means it is a fixed part and when it's a fixed part you can't move it so if you left click on it and try to move it around or rotate it or do anything you're not going to be able to it's going to say stationary so usually the second part that you place into the solidworks will be your floating part for example let's go ahead and insert our part that half inch screw that we had before and i'm going to click anywhere on the drawing to in the assembly to place my screw now the screw is what's considered floating okay now a floating if you know floating part versus a fixed part they both start with an f so that's an issue that solidworks has uh, it's not a major issue but it's because both floating and fixed start with the letter f they can't place the letter f on the left side of both of them so what do they do they place this minus sign okay so the minus sign means it's floating the f means it's fixed another way you can tell if a part is floating and fixed you can right click on the part and you're going to see that there's a float option if there's a float option then the part is fixed okay don't get that confused and then if you right click on the on the floating part and you're going to see a fix so basically you're only going to get that option to switch it from one to the other now you can switch floating to fix on any part anytime during the assembly all right so for example if i want to switch this to be uh floating come over here right click and then click on float now you're able to take this part and move it around wherever you want okay so that's something nice uh, that you can use and now if you say you want this one to be the fixed part you can right click on it and fix it and now i can't move this around so now you just switched them now your half inch screw is the fixed part and your exercise one part is your floating part okay so let's go back and make this one floating and this one fixed so now this one i can't move around and my screw is what i can move around so let's go ahead and mate this to this and see what happens now if you mate something to something mating is basically something to uh, allow solidworks to define uh, you know a surface for example to another surface so if i want uh, this surface uh, coincidental with this uh, surface right here round to round or uh, this flat surface right here you know parallel to this surface right here i can do that that's called the mate option and we'll go through this in more detail for now i'm just gonna mate real quick i'm not i'm not gonna teach you about the mate until a little later session and i'm gonna mate this section to this surface and you're gonna see that the floating part always moves according to the fixed part so the fixed part will always stay the same and then i told it that i want that surface uh coincident coincident to this surface and that's what happened i can also always change this and i'll go through all these options a little bit later but for now i just want to show you what happens if you have a fixed part and a floating part so the floating part will always move after you use a mate according to the fixed part the fixed part will stay there the floating part will move towards the fixed part and however you're using your mates and that concludes our session for the floating versus fixed feature in solidworks assembly